Hey everyone, welcome back to another World of Warships Blitz video. So, today I've got the Grocer Curve first up. Um, I've been kind of really spending the last couple days trying to figure out how I want to talk about this ship. Because I do find, you know, it's it's very much playable in, in the meta today. Um, you know, it's still a viable ship. But, you know, with all the HE spam and, and, the, and the CVs, it can be a challenge to play. Um, I've got one, a game that I'm going to release for you guys at some point where, honestly, it could happen to any battleship. It just happened to be a, a, that I was in this one and I was helping support a cap and a domination map and five members of the enemy team showed up. Battleship heavy. Um, you know, the surface detection on this thing's not that great to begin with. So I, I was detected. I got focused down by everybody. And I think I did like 12,000 points of damage. But honestly, that could happen to any battleship. I don't care which one, you know, which one of these you're looking at. If you get yourself out of position and get forced out or uh, get uh, focused down, it doesn't matter. You're, you're toast. So is it a grosser curve first problem that I had a bad game? No, it's just bad luck. It happens. So anyways, let's let's talk about the ship. First thing I'm going to talk about is the historical camo. I, I do not have the space camo. So kind of depending on where you're at with your camouflage kind of to me is going to determine which way you want to go with the ship. Um... I've just, I just never could get the space camo. Haven't been that lucky. So the space camo is your secondary focus camo. So if you want to run this as a secondary brawler, you really want the space camo. Um, obviously, I've got the historical camo up, which makes it more of a, I don't want to call it a, a you're not a, definitely not a backline sniper, but you're a, you're, you're, you're going to push with this ship. You're going to push with it. You're, you're absolutely going to. But this lets you take your time. Find the good spot to make the push. And then, then go for it. So you've got some good accuracy with these guns. With the, with the build I have. And you're able to trade from some distance. You know, with your armor and your hit points. You're able to trade at distance. And then make a push in. Where to me, the secondary focus ship would be wanting to probably be a little more aggressive. So, I don't know exactly how well that works in today's meta. How aggressive you actually can be with this ship. Because like I said, with the HE spammers, you know, your small ants, God forbid your CVs. Uh, with the introduction of the new e EU split line, the, uh, the Gdansk line. There's, there's so many HE spammers out there, and this thing, you know, it, it's honestly, it's soaked in gasoline. I swear to God it is. You know, an HE spammer looks at you, and you're you're on triple fire. So, it's something to keep in mind when you're, when you're if you're going to grind this line. So, like I said, I'm running historical camo. Um, you can see I still haven't changed it over to... Yeah, I haven't even changed this back over to uh, where I probably would probably run the main armor belt to help me trade a little bit more. I'm running secondary, especially right now. Um, details. You, you're looking at the same thing as uh, the rest of the line. You know, sonar, precise aim. We should get two secondary overloads with this ship. Um, I did notice in testing that... I did the German auto secondary, not auto secondaries. The auto secondaries are fine. It's the, it's the manual secondaries. Boy, they really, really need a bit of help. Um, lots of zero and half pens with the with the uh, German AP secondaries. So, anyways, you know, you can see here, before uh, my supplies are in, I'm running about sixty-seven thousand hit points. You know, you got a nice citadel protection. You got nice damage reduction. Fire and flooding resistance. It does crush you in here. 
Um, like I said, with the, you know, the uh, Friedrich de Gross. 29 knots for a battleship's pretty good. Again, you're like a bus. Takes you a long time to get up to speed. You don't want to stop. Turn time's a little slow. Now, these 457s that this thing has, you know, surprisingly, they're accurate. You know, um... Yeah, I know a lot of people talk about German inaccuracy, but they're not that bad. Um, you're at the threshold where you get the 300% Citadel. You know, honestly, that's, that's you know, you're not going to get anything crazy there. Um, this is the part I'm having an issue with, I've noticed. And I'll have to go back and check my Bismarck video and, and test more on the Bismarck. These secondaries, these manual 150s, just don't seem to have the punch that they used to have. Or at least that I remember. Um, you know, I'm not going to lie. There's games with this build that I'm running that I don't even touch my secondaries. You know, I've racked up 90k games easy just running my main gun, shooting my main guns and staying at a bit of a, you know, staying at, at, at distance on things. It's not fun. You know, it's not a fun play style, but, you know, sometimes matchmaking forces you to be a little campy, and, you know, unfortunately it happens. Um, the auto secondaries, you know, 6.3 kilometer range on them, fantastic. You know, they, they, do, they do work. Your AA, you're never going to be accused of being a uh, AA ship. And the surface detection. You know, 13 kilometers, um... Yeah. And let's see here. You know, honestly, if you run in surface detection, you're only going to get that down to like 11, 11, 6. So I'm not entirely sure it's worth running the uh, surface detection build on this thing. You know, with a 15 kilometer main gun range... Yeah, I, I really don't think it's going to help out very much. So, again, I'm running historical camo. I put in main battery mod 3 to get more shell, better shell dispersion. And like I said, it seems to work for me, you know. Now I'm running propulsion mod here. And I'm running steering. I find actually running steering, you know, you're not going to get a lot to overshoot you or, or undershoot you, but if you're wiggling a little bit when you're having to play the slow game early, when you're wiggling a little bit, you can get quite a few um, battleship shells to, to, to miss you. So, believe it or not, as crappy as this thing turns, it, that does help. Um, like I said, if you've got the space camo that's set up for secondaries, I... I would probably run the secondary mod too, but as is, like I said, I'm I'm really really enjoying the dispersion mod on this. But I'm gonna leave it up to you guys how you guys want to run yours. And like I said, I think it's really camo dependent, and I think it's also dependent on who you have as your commander. I've got here Von Hipper. Um, if you guys got a little extra gold. And you don't have him, he, you can direct buy him now with a Prince, Prince Oigan camo. He's a, he's a damn good commander. You see how I've got him built up right now? Um, you know, when I got a little extra gold and I do, and if I ever get around to changing things on this ship, you know, I might change the elite bonus to extra citadel and damage reduction. And maybe then I would think about running. Demo expert instead of the, the, the close combat expert. Close, com, close quarters combat expert. Oh, sorry. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not I'm not sure yet. But you see how I'm running it. Um, armament repair expert plus. You know, you got sonar. So, is torpedo alert really worth it? I, I don't know. I don't think so. Um, six cents, very nice to have. Except for when you, you know, push it to a little a little too aggressive and, you know, it starts showing like four and five people targeting you. Then you know you're in for a bad game. Um, Recon and Surveillance Expert Plus. Better sonar d uh, duration. And obviously a 50% skill uh, cooldown time. Great. 
I'm not running the extra precise aim. I don't think I need it. Um, I think this thing's pretty accurate as is. So I'm running survival. Skip, play with that hit point pool a little bit more. But, you know, I am running the Marksman's Plus, so I at least can get two shots in when my precise aim's up. Again, we've talked about this before. I know Extinguisher works. Um, it's a great skill. Uh, but I'm running an Adrenaline Rush on here. You know, I... Like I said, it, it's very tough to say. If you're a little bit of a newer player... Maybe you want to think about Extinguisher, but they're both vi very viable choices. And then you could run Honor Seeker, but I'm running Compartment Maintenance just in case, you know, CVs and, and crap pitch you. And then APCS Plus, absolutely necessary. And to complete the tank build, we're getting a little, uh, little extra deck protection. So that's my build. That's my rationale of why I'm building it. I'm not saying the secondary focus build isn't viable. Just be careful. And you really got to really have to plan your pushes carefully with that. Um, so it's a lot of map awareness and personal preference. You know, I think both builds, I think both builds work. It's just a question of, you know, it's just a question to you as the player. What what are you what are you looking for? What do you want? And you got to remember, a lot of my builds. You know, a lot of my builds come off of experience I have playing in competition. You know, I find that they work in competition. I find they work, you know, pretty good in randoms for for me personally. So, like I said, you got to kind of tailor some stuff just to you. Um, with that, I've got a pretty good representation of my slow play how I slow play the ship to start and then push at the end um, I've got a good representation of that um, like I said earlier I've got a game that I recorded where I guess I think I did about 12,000 and I just got hyper focused by everybody because I I pushed a little too aggressive early too early in the match and I absolutely got punished for it and I'm going to I'm going to uh, probably get that out in the next couple of days because, you know, it's something you guys need to see. You know, bad games do happen. You make a you make a bad mistake. Um, you know, I, let's be uh, let's be brutally honest here. Shit happens. You know, you're going to have big, bad games in battleships, especially at tier ten with the DD meta. So, you know, like I said, I'll, I will get that out. So I've got, like I said, the gameplay that kind of showcases my preferred play style for the ship and i hope you enjoy it and i apologize for just going long but like I said, there's a lot to discuss here um actually even before we get into that you know other other commanders you can run on this i didn't even look at that um this is going real long you know like i said here's one that's absolutely viable to run on this ship because of the uh, Survivalist Plus and the Sonar. Um, where's my Shear at? You know, when I get Shear uh, leveled up, he's a he, he'd be a great one for this, uh, this one if you get him. You know, pure tank. You know, better damage control. Cooldown times. Um, you know, Survivalist Plus, Generalist Plus. Extinguisher Plus, better uh, deck protection. He might be a good fit for this one, too. Um, if you're running a basic normal commander, let's see, we'll look at this real quick. No, that's not a bad way to run it. You know, Survivalist, Marksman, Secondary or Demolition Expert, APCS would is a definite. So, I mean, there's not a lot of uh, variation here what you'd run. Okay, so yeah, I'll pull the gameplay up for you guys, let you see kind of how I slow play the ship, and then, then go in at the end, and uh, like I said, hopefully next couple days I'll get that other one up where, you know, it shows that bad games happen to everybody. And with that, enjoy the gameplay, and I, I'm curious to see what your comments are about the ship. So, yeah.
here's the gameplay. All right, we got Colombo, Kerfers, Montana, Des Moines, Hector, Yugamo, and a Chung Mulan, everybody's favorite map encounter. All right, we spawned on this side. I hate spawning on this side. So I got Janan and Gearing with me. Get the Black Shema. So let's see. I, I got to see what these guys are doing over here. You know, the double Columbo over there. If they... If they can... All right, yeah, they're turning to hold that side, so we can we can support these guys over here. Right, I don't know who's that or who that's over there, so we got a destroyer over here spotting us, obviously. Chanam launched a bunch of torpedoes over there. Yeah, we'll drop a couple shots in there. What the hell? That yeah, figures. Figures as soon as I do that. Okay, so Grocer Curve first with the space camo. Hector to Yuga, most of the Chung moves in that smoke cloud. Alright, so we're just going to sit back here and wiggle a little bit. Um. There we go. You see, we, we, we were able to dodge a couple of uh, shots there. Columbo, Hector, Yugamo. So now it's just a question of I'm just going to rock back and forth. I'm going to change direction a little bit. See, I got a couple more shells that go over me. And then whoever's just giving me the best shot over there. It's Columbo. It's, it's Kerr first. You know, I gotta depend on that Janan to keep the uh, Chung Mu away from me. So, like I said, we're just gonna eat. We're just gonna keep easing back and forth. We're gonna pop our heel. Um, Hector, Hector's over here. I gotta worry about Hector Doom Spears. I don't know what the range is. So, all right, they're they're down a battleship. Again. Just rocking back and forth and, and changing a uh, nice citadel. We're just going to sit out here and still stew out here for a little bit. All right. Curve first turn in a little bit. Plenty of time to aim that. You got plenty of time to get two shots in with this precise aim. I guess I'm just keeping an eye on Chung Lu there. I know there's a Yugamo floating around. I just don't know where they're at. Alright, those torpedoes are way to hell over there. Time to ease back up. Get more shots out on Grocer. Alright, what are you doing, Chung Mu? Oh, Hector's there. Alright, sonar up. Just in case, I don't think we gotta worry about anything. I guess. He's turning, so I think we're going to miss a couple of those. Nice Not sweating that. Alright, Hector's back behind the island. Chung Mu's still floating around. Start pushing up a little bit. See if I can help this Janan out a little bit more. Oh, excuse me. Alright, he smoked up for a second. We're not targeted, so I think we're okay. We're going to keep pushing up because Janan needs a little bit of help. Alright, I 
should aim that a little bit further up, but not bad, though. I mean, five shots. Ow, Columbo. Right, there's Yukumo. Or not Yukumo. Oh, excuse me. Here's Chung Mu. All right. We got to help out. We got to take this thing out. Or at least drive it off. All right. He's... he's God bless him after the Janan still. Alright, my Janan's down. Yeah, we gotta push this thing out. Both the battleships are behind the island, so I'm not having to stress shots from them. So I can focus on the Chung Mu here. Alright, we're gonna go dark here in a second. So, I'm not gonna stress Chung Mu. Oh, there's a minute 17 left. Okay, so they just won up on points. So a minute 10 left. I can swing around the island. I can take Grocer out. What's Hector at? All right, Hector, I don't have to worry about Hector, so back up full speed. Turn in and cross our fingers. Yugamo didn't have a shot on us. All right. 55 seconds left. All right, so I'm just going to pop my secondaries. I'm going to put my main guns in on Columbo. All right, Yugamo's down. Now my secondary should be able to take the grocer out. I didn't notice. I wasn't paying that much attention, but I'll have to take another peek at the secondary guns on this thing, how well they pen stuff. If I can get in secondary range here, we've well, got 20 seconds left. Alright, we start firing off secondaries. Let's see what the damage is, because... Alright, I, I figure we might miss those. Maybe we'll get lucky, but... Smoking up in the battleship, not going to help. And we're getting some... Penetration power on these secondaries, man. Or maybe we need to take a peek at that again. Not a bad game. 102. It, but this is the kind of game gro this my version of Grocer is good at. The stall... Uh, play tank and then push late in the game. So we tank 55, did 102, two citadel, 63 main gun hits, not bad, not bad. So, like I said, good example of how a grocer can work in this meta. And with that, have a good one.